Hello everyone, welcome to Shubhra Ranjan IS. Myself Karuna Mishra and I am the Faculty for Science and Technology here. Uh, I wanted to start a series uh, in which I clear the basic doubts about the concepts of science because this particular subject is associated with certain fears of unfamiliarity and then you know many students who are not from science background feel that uh, you know it is it is too technical it is it is too uh, sciencey sciencey to uh, you know understand the concepts so i thought uh, what better topic to start with than atomic energy now why did i choose atomic energy to start this particular series is one india has plans of using the nuclear energy as an alternative clean fuel to fulfill its aspiration and also its obligation for greenhouse gas emission apart from that globally also the nuclear fusion uh, is being seen as the ultimate answer to the energy crisis but before going to the nuclear energy any student any aspirant should have the basic understanding of the atomic structure one we will understand what is an atomic structure we will understand how the subatomic particles or atomic uh, parts of the atom were discovered and then we will be in a better position to know about these smaller particles i am talking about higgs boson etc in the upcoming series now without further ado let us understand the structure of an atom now whenever i look at the structure of an atom i have purposefully taken the example of carbon कार्बन जब हम छोटे बच्चे थे एटॉमिक नंबर पढ़ते थे तो हम ये पढ़ते थे कि कार्बन का एटॉमिक नंबर है सिक्स राइट कुछ कुछ पीरियोडिक टेबल याद आ रही एटॉमिक नंबर का क्या मतलब होता है एटॉमिक नंबर में हम ये पढ़ते थे कि इट इज द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स और इट इज द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स तो ये नंबर ऑफ प्रोटोन्स है या इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है लेटेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड सो अर्लियर वी डिड नॉट नो कि एटम के भी पार्ट्स होते हैं वी यूज टू अज्यूम दैट एटम ही सबसे स्मॉलेस्ट एटम इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्ट व्हेन इट कम्स टू द एलिमेंट्स बट देन इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड ओवर द टाइम दैट देर आर यू नो एटम इज नॉट द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्ट एंड इट आल्सो हैज डिविजन्स एंड दीज डिविजन्स वर विद इन द न्यूक्लियस प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉन विच रिवॉल्व अराउंड दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूक्लियस बट there were many people and there were many contributions because of which we could come to this particular conclusion for example it was j j thompson uh, who discovered the presence of electrons the electrons uh, that uh, you know that atom has small particles which are uh, revolving around it this was not something he could get to जे जे थॉम्सन का प्लम पुडिंग मॉडल आपको याद होगा यू वुड रिमेंबर प्लम पुडिंग मॉडल इन विच ही सेड कि पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव चार्ज तो है बट उनको ये नहीं पता था कि कोई रेवोल्यूशन चल रहा है इलेक्ट्रॉन्स का सो वॉट ही सेड इज कि देर इज देर इज लाइक अ पुडिंग देर इज अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज विच इज द बेस एंड इन टॉप ऑफ दैट यू हैव द नेगेटिव चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर एम्बेडेड ही डेड रिसीव द नोबेल प्राइज बट दिस particular uh, you know structure of the atom this theory was disapproved after j j thompson the next important person which came into the arena was rutherford with the rutherford or the gold foil experiment gold foil experiment aapko kuch kuch bachpan mein yaad hai ki we uh, used to study in 9th standard that there was a gold foil which in which i bombarded the alpha particles then uh, some of the alpha particles they were reverted back 180 degree some were deflected etc and then uh, rutherford actually discovered that there is presence of nucleus so there were two observations when it comes to rutherford model this is what thomson said right according to thomson this is the positive charge and it has the embedded negative charge this was discarded this was not something which was approved and as it did not make sense uh, eventually to um, uh, you know justify the role of positive and the negative charge and how it is balancing out with the rutherford model with the rutherford model it was seen that the alpha particles were either getting deflected or they were bouncing back but majority of the rays majority of the particles were going through so there were two observations which were made first that the mass of the atom is concentrated at the center mass of the atom is concentrated at the center and majority of the space 
is vacant so the rays are passing through so there were two things that we discussed first is that there is a nucleus and this nucleus is in the concentrated form at the center of the atom and the remaining or majority of the atom has blank space and the rays were passing through so rutherford is credited with discovery of nucleus jj thomson is credited with discovery of electron with his cathode ray tube experiment and the neutrons the most important discovery for the modern world was the discovery of neutrons nucleus mein humne ye discover kar liya tha ki positive charge hai right there was a positive charge at the center of an atom and the negatively charged electrons were somewhere you know uh, us waqt tak revolution wala part nahi hua tha but they were somewhere balanced out but when it came to the nucleus it was j chadwick j chadwick or james chadwick in the year 1932 he made a ground breaking discovery that in the nucleus of an atom it is both proton as well as neutron and the sum of the number of proton and neutron actually formed the atomic mass so hum jo atomic number or atomic mass padhte the let us say i'll take the example of i'll take the example of carbon only so if it is c6 12 right this is the atomic number which is the number of proton which is equal to number of electrons whereas the atomic mass is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons it together formed the nucleus all the mass almost all the mass of the atom is concentrated at the nucleus and this nucleus is ka jo circumference hota hai it is very very less compared to the circumference of the atom it is almost 10 raised to the power 5 times less than the uh, circumference of the atom and it is in such concentrated form at the center and this is where the entire mass is present so what what all did we discuss we discussed that we first found out the electrons then we found out the protons which gives the positive charge and then james chadwick also told us that there is neutrons do you know it was the discovery of james chadwick which led to the nuclear fission idea jo aapka fission ka idea hai nuclear fission ka and using fission as a source of energy and also as a bomb actually came with the discovery of neutrons by james chadwick neutrons ki properties kya hoti hain first neutron does not have charge it is neutral and it the mass is very very close to the mass of proton and finally it was niels bohr it was niels bohr who said that the electrons revolve around the positively charged nucleus in different shells shells or energy levels or ye different energy levels pe the electrons they revolve around the positively charged nucleus so the nucleus contains positively charged proton and no charged neutrons and the electrons it revolves around it and therefore you study the bohr's model of an atom and therefore niels bohr uh also the recipient of nobel prize was given nobel prize for his contribution in physics and he is also credited with making the first periodic table or the functional periodic table he is also credited with telling us about the different shells k l m n that are also considered as the different energy levels in which the electrons are filled तो चैडविक की डिस्कवरी एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मॉडल ऑफ नील्स बोर इट वॉज ओपन हाइमर एंड ऑल दोज पीपल एट दैट टाइम हु वर इन्वॉल्व इन मेकिंग द न्यूक्लियर बॉम्ब गॉट द आइडिया दैट इट कैन बी फ्यूजन फ्यूजन यानी तोड़ना फ्यूजन यानी जोड़ना अगर यहाँ पर डिफरेंट पार्टिकल्स ही नहीं होंगे तो इनको तोड़ा कैसे जाएगा सो फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एट we will continue with the series till then have a great day